have a good day. Good day, LA Beast here, and here in the year 2022, to celebrate the 30th anniversary of Crystal Pepsi's existence, Pepsi did a very stealth, limited sweepstakes giveaway of six special 30 year anniversary Crystal Pepsis. And as you can see, the label is clear, uh, and it says 30 year anniversary right there on the bottle. To where only 1,800 of these bottles, 306 packs were created. And at the end of this video, if you stay tuned till the end, I plan on giving away three of these. So stay tuned on how to win one of them at the end of this video. Enjoy. Hello, LA Beast here. And am I fat and out of shape? That is yet to be determined. But ever since this awful pandemic has started almost two years ago, if I'm being honest, I have definitely packed on the pounds and I've weighed the most that I ever have in my entire life. And for comparison, I will share some examples of also at that time in my life when I was also the heaviest weight, such as when I played college football from 2002 to 2006 at Fordham University to where I ran a 4.9 40-yard dash. I weighed 265 pounds. Uh, and I was a big, strong guy with a tiny head during my competitive eating days from 2011 to 2013. Within a two-month period, I consumed over 700 hot dogs and buns. And in the process, I went from 240 pounds to then my heaviest weight of 280 pounds. And for me, two reasons why I stopped doing competitive eating is that every single contest I would go to, the top five eaters would be there and take all the prize money. But also I see people telling skinnier competitive eaters, hey, how do you eat all that food and keep all that weight off? And for me specifically, I would eat all that food and gain all the weight. So health-wise, even though quite possibly I still do unhealthy things here on YouTube, I decided that competitive eating for me was something I was going to take a break from. And over the past two years during the pandemic, being stuck at home, dealing with the craziness of not being able to go out and spend time with your friends and family, sure, did I drink an alcoholic beverage pretty much one every single day, if not more? Yes. And in the process, I would wake up in the morning, I got on the scale, and my heaviest weight ever was 287 pounds. But ever since November of 2021, I decided to get myself into better shape. So I cut out a lot of the booze. I've been utilizing in the basement my elliptical and rowing machine while utilizing my high altitude system to where I'm breathing in air as if I was on a 13,000 foot mountain. And then when I train at sea level, I can carry more oxygen in my red blood cells to where I get tired less faster. And as I just got off the scale after working out about a few minutes ago, I weighed in at 258. 0.6 pounds, losing a significant amount uh, of that weight for my all-time heaviest. Now today my goal for this video is quite simple and it involves three parts. The first part being the past two out of the three videos that I've posted on my channel have been deemed not suitable for advertisers by YouTube for reasons unknown. And you know what, at this point it is what it is. And the main concept for each of those three videos was basically me eating food in a challenge style format to which I've been doing for years. Over the better part of the last decade, I've enjoyed growing and being a part of the YouTube community. And I always like to support fellow content creators, such as fellow competitive eaters, food reviewers, and mukbang channels. And every now and then when I check in on these channels, I can't help but notice that the food that these people are eating are healthy fast food items to where YouTube loves to promote this kind of content to where there's always ads on these videos. Specifically, I checked out this channel in particular the other day to where I noticed an immediate ad when I clicked on the video. But most importantly, I can't help but notice the unhealthy transformations of some of these YouTube channels that consume food on a regular basis. And in some instances, these creators have actually gained more than 100 pounds of weight. But because these content creators are making a whole lot of money, and because the fast food sponsors in YouTube are making millions of dollars, who gives a sh fleek? about people's health, right? It's all about money. So part two and three of my goals, just simply through my actions and not words, show the haters and people who've been pointing out my weight gain over the past two years that I am not fat or out of shape. And to my competitive eating friends, fast food reviewers and mukbang eaters who sitting in their bedroom or car consume unhealthy amounts of fast food, I challenge you to beat me at running a faster McDonald's double cheeseburger mile then the time I'm about to dominate, bring it on! And in the process, maybe YouTube will put ads on my video 
so their corporate sponsors' pockets can be lined with cold hard candy canes, dandelions, poo poo caca, poo poo caca. That's it! No, I'm no stranger to consuming things and then running miles. This back in 2014, I consumed four Chipotle burritos and then ran a six minute 45 second one. And back in 2015, on a scorching hot summer's day in Santa Monica, California, I completed the beer mile in eight minutes, 0.888 seconds. And as I was going around the final bend, I almost jiffed my pants, but somehow, some way, I pushed through that finish line. And here today in 2022, to prove every now and then that I'm not fat and out of shape, I plan on dominating this McDonald's double cheeseburger mile with the speed and grace of Dave Waddle, an Olympian who once won a gold medal uh, based on his golf cap. Uh, it literally came down to him, boom, sprinting through that finish line in his golf cap and legs won him a gold medal. So without further ado, let's get started. Hello, good day, LA Beast here. Sorry? Uh, LA Beast here. May I please have four double cheeseburgers? Okay. Uh, yeah, um, can you actually make that eight double cheeseburgers, please? I decided to order eight double cheeseburgers as backup. Sorry? Hello? Eight double cheeseburgers. Correct, eight double cheeseburgers and then four large high C orange lava bursts. Four large sides here, okay. That's it. That's gonna be 29.77, give it there. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> All right, right now uh, we have the orange lava burst, but we are holding up the line, waiting for the cheeseburgers, and then we'll head to the track. One, two, we are now here at the Jacob Brown Track and Field Facility which is a state-of-the-art, officially distanced track. And as you can see right here where it says one, I'm going to run four full laps, which equals 1,600 meters, also one mile. And the rules for the McDonald's double cheeseburger mile are pretty much start off by eating one cheeseburger, drinks are allowed, run one lap, and repeat that process four times. And that's it. Without further ado, just like Dave Waddle, I have my sweet 1980s Budweiser trucker hat. Let's go to the starting line. And let's get this done. I'm here at the starting and finish point. I ordered extra double cheeseburgers and I just wanted to show the audience that this is in fact a, a disgusting looking McDonald's double cheeseburger. Uh, and you know what, I just need to take a couple seconds, get my mind right. Nothing that I haven't done before. Uh, and you know what, to, to all the food reviewers out there, I challenge you to beat my time. Uh, to which I'm aiming right around anything uh, 10 minutes or below, or slightly above. This is Jelly Beast. Heck yeah, let's do this. I have the first McDonald's double cheeseburger in my hand right here. We are at the starting point, the one, which is also going to be the finish point. Uh, my friend, softball teammate, and fellow YouTuber, Silver Jackify, has his timer ready. And when he says, ready, set, go, I will actually, boom, start eating the first cheeseburger and then game on. Uh, so the clock will be running the entire time from three, two, one, go until I finish. On your mark, get set, go. Now there's gonna be some discrepancy with the time as we'll see later on. So we will use Silver Jackify's phone as the official timer. And like I said, there's gonna be a good reason why there is a time discrepancy. As you can see right there, quite possible.
Now at this point, as you can clearly see, I was in the absolute zone. And was it my intention, as you're about to witness, for me to throw any McDonald's double cheeseburger wrappers on the track? No, I am not a litterer. Beast is killing his pace right now. Two minutes and 11 seconds. <sighs> <laughs> Although this is, gonna, this is definitely gonna slow him down a little bit. At this point, I was having trouble catching my breath as I was wolfing down 437 calories of saturated oh, fat. Let's go! Eating the cheeseburgers might be the hardest part of this race. All right. Three minutes. All right, we're on the third burger. We're about oh. four minutes and 50 seconds in. Oh. Third burger, two laps completed. Oh. Half a mile already has been run. And we're about five minutes and five seconds in. At this point, there was a grumpy old man jerkwad getting a little teed off about the McDonald's wrappers on the track. Not her. To where you can hear him screaming. Holy cow. <laughs> Everybody go here to McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> On to lap number three. Commence countdown, five. Four, three, two, one. Dude, clean up your trash. Oh yeah, yeah. This is the third one I picked up. Yep, got it. You know what, buddy? Fuck you, pal. Pa -pow. Your sneakers suck. <laughs> With the trash now picked up at the kind request of a fellow runner. Joe, Silver Jackify did an excellent job of keeping his composure 
And somehow, some way, in a little bit here, we are going to get the camera back on myself. Nope. And wait, one, three, two, one, right there. There I am. Timer's still running. that the fastest way to get this final double cheeseburger down was to use the dunking method. And at this specific <sighs> moment, I have no idea where I was or what was going on around me. Alright Beast, you got about a minute, 40. You got a minute 45. You got a minute 45 to get under 10. Let's go! At this point, the burger's starting to get clogged in my esophagus like a traffic jam. But I continue to power through like an absolute boss. And as you're about to see, I'm not quite sure why the camera somehow turned oh. off and turned back on. Wait for it. Boom, right there. I have no idea why that happened, but not to anybody who does not believe my final time, which you're about to see, just know this, that I almost threw up on a lady and a All grandpa. Done. With, excuse me, sorry. Uh, and I threw up almost on a grandpa <laughs> with his two grandsons. And then once more as I crossed the finish line. Again, coming around the bend. Uh, I don't know why I just did that, but it did. Uh, and there's the grandpa that I almost spewed on. The, there's that lady off to the side. And there's the grandpa staring at me, wondering what's going on. But he clearly has no idea the greatness that he's witnessing right now. How you feeling? Oh, oh it's the time. <laughs> 10 minutes and like 40 seconds. <laughs> that was right around 10 minutes. That was very impressive. I'm not doing that again. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I, I apologize to the people. I almost spewed twice in that last bend. <laughs> oh, there's a grandpa and his grandson. Oh. Hope YouTube monetizes this video. Eat a McDonald's drink, Budweiser. Thank you to Silver Jack if I check him out on YouTube. LA Beast. Have a good day. <laughs> oh. Oh. I had a goal. I came out here today and I accomplished my goal, so. And that was. Fast food and exercise. That was real. Yeah. That really just happened. As I was running right around the third lap, apparently there was a freaking jerkwad concerned about garbage. So I just wanted to make sure that we're on film officially. We're not litterers. We throw away our trash, <laughs> especially McDonald's products. I think I'm done eating McDonald's for a while. So LA Beast, 
Good day. The music in this video today is composed by a family friend that I've known for decades, the very talented and distinguished American composer, Richard Sortome. He studied at Juilliard and has many accolades and rave reviews in the classical concert world, and commissions that really set him apart from the crowd, including a world premiere performed by the New York Philharmonic. He has also composed many film cues, some of which you've actually heard in my video today. And in order to win one of the three limited edition 30 year anniversary Crystal Pepsi bottles, please if you can, help out my family friend Richard Sortome by visiting his YouTube channel and subscribing. Watch his latest video to which he worked really hard on, showcasing what inspires him within his composing studio. And finally, if you can check out his music on his website, richardsortome.com, those are the three ways that you can enter to win. And when it comes to helping out a family friend, it really means a lot to me. So thank you in advance for all of your support. It's the LA Beast. Have a good day.